If you are in the early days of your knee replacement, hang in there because you will get to this point. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with Fran. If you uh, if you follow me on YouTube, you will see Fran. I've got a series called Training with Fran, uh, which is amazing because it's all knee replacement rehab as well as building strength, fitness. And we need dancing with Fran. And well. dancing with Fran. Oh my God, professional dancer as well. <laughs> Jump over to my Instagram for that because we have so much fun. I dance for joy, that's it. Fran has had two, what, one, tell me what you've done, had done with your knees. A knee reconstruction, ligament reconstruction on my left. How many years ago? Seven years ago. Mm -hmm. And a full knee reconstruction on the right side uh, a year and a half ago. You're an acclaimed stunt woman, dancer, <laughs> PT, <laughs> martial artist. <laughs> the girl does it all, man. Inspiration <laughs> right there. <laughs> But this is, I wanted to let you know, I am six months post full knee replacement on my right leg. So I had a, a really rough time. I, I didn't, uh, my body reacted quite badly compared to the norm for being someone that's, you know, 51 who had a, a knee replacement. And to see the stuff I'm doing now, it's just so reassuring. So if you're in the early days of your knee replacement, hang in there because you will get to this point. This is a great knee replacement drill, especially once you understand your positioning of your foot and knee. Uh, we're going to be testing uh, motor neurons and the sensitivity of the knee being placed in different ranges of motion. So testing the balance, single leg work is the key. For recovery yes and it's hard you know but I'm, I love it I love being challenged and I love knowing that I'm strengthening the muscles that I don't you know that went let's get started so when you're ready stand on that leg one leg standing tall now engage this leg do not collapse on that knee first so stand tall. straight yes engage that glute now when you're ready Kelly's gonna push your shin forwards she's gonna lengthen the leg the knee will pass just a little bit over that toe okay we're challenging that pistol leg squat position then back up good slowly to the side as far out as we can to the side good and that knee and foot stay in line and back up good and then backwards on this one when we go back the knee doesn't pass forward so much our weight stays back and then we come up, good, the challenging one from here is to cross over like a football kick, lovely, and back up, good. So many years people used to say don't ever squat past your, uh, your knee passing your foot, but the truth is, if Kelly turns around this way, good, walking down the stairs, yeah. what will happen is that her shin will drive forwards naturally. Mm -hmm. Okay, if, you, if I said to you, Kelly, walk down the stairs, but keep your knee yeah. above, in front of your toes, she will not yeah. be able to get down. So going downstairs, you do that naturally. See, so you, that's what you're saying. Exactly. Right? So you've got to strengthen that. Yeah, exactly. And the reason why so many people have knee problems going down the stairs is because they have restricted that motion. Ah, that's right. Do you know what I mean? Yes. yes. And, and maybe the reason why I push Kelly not to walk sideways mm. is because we want to train that motion forwards, which it involves your hip flex, involves the knee, involves the shin, involves mm. mobility, but it also involves strength to hold the VMO, the quad right here, passing just over your foot. Yes, if maybe you don't have any knee problems, then you want to train that pistol squat, you will be going all the way down. You would be going all the way up. Oh my God. All the way up. <laughs> One day. Let's do the other leg. Now, first, really important from here, Kelly has that slight little tendency to stick her butt out. So we're going to just bring it to neutral, lengthen from the front, engage from the back. Stand on that one leg. Good, use that core. This is my knee replacement leg. Okay. Mm -hmm. That heel is going to go over. I want you to this is the over 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 the ring ah. yes and then back up now slowly to the side bend 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 good and up and backwards good and up and front and across that's really hard good and up so what's very beautiful an activity that most people don't even know about 
Tai Chi. If you look at ancient Chinese, usually in yes. the 50s, 60s, they all, it's got their sort of movement yes. and range in the knees and they, they can really mm. go in depth. Tai Chi is one of the best activities to work on your joints. Wow. Yeah. It makes sense, Qigong. right? It makes sense. All of that balancing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's what's all new to me. I didn't do any of this sort of work before my knee replacement surgery. But at least I'm really preparing my left knee. Yes, I do have to have a full knee replacement on this knee. It's bone on bone as well, but I'm just going to do it until I can't bear the pain anymore, which is what I did with this one. And I'm going to say one more thing. This exercise gets more and more advanced. We can then start applying some yoga blocks. So at height, mm. so at a step, and you want to go beyond. So you'll be going lower. Yes, and it gives a resemblance of a step of a, of a staircase. Yeah, and then you can add some weights as well. Okay, on your hands. But uh -huh. start like this. Is stage one. So I want you to go two kilos. You're going to go forwards. And then you're going to use that core to drive Ooh. front, okay? So. And now, good. And then back in to the side when you're ready. Do they go in front again? To, yep, go to the this side. This is stage two, goes Good, back in. Good. Keep your arms down until you find the shape, then use the arms. So find the shape first, leg back, weight. Good. And up. Now for the front forwards one, just keep your arms down. Okay. Aha. Uh, Good. Shh. Forwards. Good. Shh. Nice. I want to see that heel passing over the, the circle. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Control. And. Shh. Good. Uh. And. Behind. Yes, good. And across in front. Good. And back into center. Good job. Boom. I would say if you're past three months, four months post-surgery, give this a go. But just if it hurts, stop. I mean, three months post-surgery, we should be, even if it's just getting these angles, it's really important. Yeah. Even if it's front, side, and back. The crossed a little bit more complicated. Mm -hmm. The forward, side, and back. It's third month, definitely. Okay, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And um, please subscribe.